Well, now to the latest on the coronavirus pandemic. Learning from home is going to take place a lot longer for hundreds of thousands of students. It is going to look a lot different. Some are finding that out, even with the spring semester now being online, too. NBC4's Annette Adiola joins us live with new timetables for the students and their families. Annette, good morning. Kim, Adrian, good morning. I know a lot of us have said, oh, we just want 2020 to be over, come in 2021. But guess what? All of this is going to spill in through next year. The effects of the pandemic are still going to be here at 2021. And a lot of students, college students as well, are going to be impacted by this. Why? Because, well, now we learned that Cal State is going to be the first university system in the country uh, to have remote learning through the entire academic year. Yes, all 23 campuses will be offering roughly 90 to 95 percent of their classes online through the spring of 2021 because we have seen so many outbreaks at college campuses across the nation. The chancellor for the Cal State University system says that this is really the safest and the right thing to do right now. And K through 12 schools will also stick with online learning for a little bit longer. Here's a message that Long Beach Unified delivered to its community last night. I'm here today to communicate our district decision to extend our distance learning through our first semester of the year, which continues until January 28th. And no K through 12 campus in LA County will be allowed to fully reopen until at least November, according to the Department of Public Health. There is one exception, though, and that is for special needs students. According to Dr. Ferrer, schools can begin to offer small in person classes for children with special needs at no more than 10% of capacity at one time. County officials have said that they will not approve any waivers for districts to reopen earlier than that, and that is because LA County is still on the governor's watch list. We still are on the purple tier um, that was just released a couple of weeks ago, not on the red tier, just like Orange County. Uh, there's still widespread uh, virus happening here within the county, and they just don't feel that it's safe enough for both students and teachers to be returning into the classrooms at this moment. We'll send it back to you guys in the studio.